is tearing human minds apart and putting them together again in new shapes of your own choosing. Power is not a means, it is an end. Welcome back, thanks for watching. I got a wild one for you today. So yesterday I got all excited because I thought I was the first one to have discovered that Webster's Dictionary had changed the definition of bloodbath, which I did expect due to past examples of definitions being changed to fit the left and Democrat party narratives. Unfortunately and embarrassingly for me, that's because I accidentally typed in the word bloodshed. Oops. So I guess I'm an idiot. However, this morning I wake up to find that one of my favorite Twitter accounts, Ed Wokeness, has discovered Google doing that very thing and redefining finding bloodbaths to fit the Democrat Party narrative. Holy shit! Now, if you read my community post this morning, you saw it and several users claiming that I'm getting it wrong, which we will get to. But first, I'm still blown away by the sheer audacity of what I'm about to show you. So over the past week, all of us have watched the Democrats and media present an edited clip removing all context of Donald Trump speaking about an auto industry bloodbath so that they could claim he was making violent threats. It's the very fine people hoax all over again, which is just not nuts to me because all anyone has to do is just go and watch a minute of the clip before their edited portion. But I guess that the Democrats and the media assume their viewers are not going to do that. If you watched my video yesterday, and if you haven't, you should do that when you're done here, you saw almost three minutes of Democrats and people in the media using the word bloodbath in both economic and political context. And I'm not alone, with every single media post on Twitter getting heavily ratioed and community noted. So what would you expect an Orwellian authoritarian state power to do in the face of overwhelming opposition to their farce. Well, just change the definition of the word bloodbath, of course. Now, let me explain what's going on here, because several people in my community post accuse me of misleading and lying, saying it's just two different website definitions. Wrong. Yesterday, when you searched for bloodbath definition, they provided you with a front-facing dictionary.com definition that included the economic context. Now today, when you make the exact same search, the top response is a new definition from a different website that does not include the economic context. This other guy says something about if you type bloodbath definition at dictionary.com or something like that, it gives you the right one. Yeah. No crap. If you type in a specific website, it's going to give you that specific website. And that just tells me that you're either trying to obfuscate or you just don't understand the issue here. So let me explain. No, Google itself did not redefine the word bloodbath, but they did change their search results so that the top result you get does not include the economic context. If you do the exact same search on DuckDuckGo, you get the correct definition. So this is something that Google definitely did on purpose. Not only that, that, but they added extra uses of the word that again does not include the economic problems context that just happens to coincide with the Democrat and media's efforts to completely misrepresent Trump's use of the word. It's just very fine people all over again. And in fact, they're actually bringing that back to bolster their new hoax. This is the same guy who, after Nazis marched on Charlottesville and killed a woman, said there were very fine people on both sides. Now, if I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath, and it's going to be a bloodbath for the country. Jews will not replace us. But you also had people that were very fine people on both sides. They have been telegraphing all along. To Kate's earlier point, you know, he's not... Biden's not running against nobody or some generic Republican. That's what he's running against. Been left in ruins. Good God! This is actual, real gaslighting being done to us by our government, our state media, and Orwellian corporations like Google, whose AI was designed with an anti-white bias and hatred for the left's political opposition. Like here, where if you state that you're a proud left-winger, it agrees and thinks that's a great thing that you should celebrate. However, if you say that you're proud to be a right-winger, it responds that while I understand your desire to express your political views, it's important to remember that I'm not designed to engage in discussions that promote specific political ideologies. Whoa, whoa. But we just saw that it has no problems engaging in ideological discussion as long as you're a left winger. Look, they know they're lying. They just think it's justified. It's different when they do it because Trump. Take it from Bill Maher, who I just noticed admitted that left wingers do this back when he interviewed Candace Owens. The environmentalists do often lie because they have this idea uh, this issue is so important, and by the way, it is so important, that it's okay. 
I don't know. I don't think I'm getting it wrong here, but let me know what you think in the comments. You can also help fight this hoax by sharing and liking this video. All right, that's all I have for that one. Like I said, if you're still here, might as well hit that like button and make sure to keep checking back for more. Thanks a lot.